As you may or may not be aware, the most common cancer being acute leukemia. In Singapore and in developed countries, we can cure up to 98% of children with cancer. For brain tumors, we can cure up to 80% of children with brain tumors. So for neuroblastoma, if you have a low risk or stage one or two neuroblastoma, it may just spontaneously disappear and you'll be cured from it without any intervention or treatment. If you have intermediate risk or middle risk neuroblastoma, you may need some treatment and you can still achieve an 80% chance for cure. If you have high risk or stage four neuroblastoma, in Singapore, with all the treatments that we have available, we can cure up to 60% of children with stage four neuroblastoma. So for example, in a child who has leukemia, the treatment is mainly going to be chemotherapy in different forms, oral injection and intravenous. If you have a child with, say, neuroblastoma, which is a solid tumor, if the child has a high risk or stage four neuroblastoma, we actually have to combine chemotherapy with surgery where the surgeon has to remove the main tumor. We also use immunotherapy, radiation therapy to the main tumor so that we can achieve a total 60% chance for cure. We work very closely with a pediatric surgeon who is uh, skilled in taking care of children with cancer. So a pediatric surgeon is important in that, especially in children with solid cancers, where they may initially have to do a biopsy, so take a small piece of the tumor so that we can find and confirm the actual diagnosis and the type of cancer. They may also come into play after some chemotherapy to remove the solid tumor. The role of radiotherapy is important, especially for certain cancers like brain tumors or solid organ tumors, which are not amenable to surgery. And it forms an integral part in combination with surgery and chemotherapy to ensure the best possible cure for the patient. Radiation therapy treats cancer using high beam X-rays. It treats both cancer and normal cells from the outside, but only in the area of the body being targeted. Although the healthy cells are better at healing themselves, we are very careful to limit the dose to these normal organs because these patients are still growing and we have to be very careful about what we treat so as to limit long-term side effects. As we continue to cure many children with cancer, because we are able to intensify treatments and because we are able to deliver many different forms of treatment, some of the late side effects that the children may experience as they grow older and as they go into adulthood may be growth problems, hormone or endocrine problems, they may have fertility issues, uh, they may also have premature ovarian failure or premature menopause because of the various treatments that they received. They may also have some psychological effects because of the treatment and the experience that they went through. So when a child completes their treatment, it is also still very important to continue to see their pediatric oncologist and later their pediatrician so that we can follow up and monitor for the side effects that they may have received due to the treatments.